the Home Office has spent a record £5.38 billion on asylum over the past year. We're going to read into these numbers more from Sky News, you guys. Let's go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Regan Elite here with an article from Sky News with the headline that the Home Office spent a record £5.38 billion pounds on asylum over the past year. New data has found the number of asylum claimants living in hotels has increased since Labour came into power in July. Guys, while you're here, make sure you hit the like button and share this across social media so others are notified of this video. So that's the money that they have been spending um, on on in terms of asylum now one th the thing that i will say obviously when we read into it more i will say that one good thing they have done is a, a huge amount have been deported i think it's like eight thousand the number of had they have, re have reportedly cleared sent back to countries of origin as well that's something that you never heard the conservatives talk about they never talked about how many that they returned that they sent back and this is something that labor have done and there was also a speech from Sir Keir Starmer recently uh, where he talked about that the immigration system that the Conservatives have was designed in a way to keep immigrants, to keep uh, asylum uh, systems, not process them, and to basically let them pile up to, cre to create to this scenario to you that everything and all your problems revolve around uh, asylum seekers, to make that scenario as real as it possibly can to you. It was a deliberate attempt by the Conservative government, the previous Conservative government, to make it look like that immigration is all your problems and to pile them all in hotels, in barges and whatnot, and to not process them. And this is the key difference. The difference here between Labour and the Conservatives on this particular subject is that the Conservatives did not want to process them and did not want to deport them. The Labour Party have deported over 8,000 so far and that number obviously every single day they continued to process them they actually got on with dealing with this issue they're getting on with dealing with this but Regan how can you say that when we're looking at these figures here that numbers are on the rise well that is a fair argument and my response is Labour have been in power since July now are there quick fixes to, uh, to dealing with this uh, issue there is one quick fix on the issue, one that people do not want to talk about, especially in the mainstream, shall we say. Um, and that is to have some kind of processing, asylum processing claim in France. That's why I personally think that should be done. Um, because if you open up an asylum processing claim there, so people who actually want to claim asylum in the UK and actually uh, be uh, decide whether or not they're okay, whether or not they're perfectly able to, whether we accept or reject their claim to come to the UK, if we did that from France, that would stop boat tr journeys dead in their tracks. It's also very uh, important as an as a immigration point of view is that we are taking in a huge amount of non-EU uh, workers as well, as opposed to EU workers as well, um, whether it's studying or working or other means, a lot of them as well. And that's, by the way, that's not people coming on boats, that's those coming to the UK as well. I think that's a really important point. Um, the Home Office obviously spending £5.38 billion. Pounds. The reason why they're spending that much money on it is because it's one of the biggest topics. The mainstream media will always consistently talk about it. People think that it is the be all and end all. I can absolutely guarantee you that asylum, uh, that immigration is not the reason why the country is falling apart. Does it play a part in in some of the factors that's happening in the UK? Yes, it does. But is it the overall reason? No. It is not the overall reason. We had Brexit, we had COVID, we had the Ukraine war. We are uh, the Ukraine war. None of these things are direct factor. Are these things because of Brexit? Uh, that because of immigration? Brexit happened, which has caused our migration to spike. Brexit is linked to migrate to, to to immigration as well. The Ukraine war obviously opened up the influx of. Ukrainians because they needed places to go as well as other EU countries they also came here seeking refuge as well so there is that and then obviously the pandemic which shut us down and the difference between us and other nations is because we have we have not and we will never recover from the numbers that we had before Brexit so people tend to forget that as well 
Um, so people were going, they were going, the, the conservatives were dragging their feet on claiming that everything was because of COVID for a long while as well. So to say that everything is revolved around immigration is nonsense. It's really not rocket science to figure that out. Um, but in my opinion, the reason they're doing this is to is to appeal to obviously those people who think all their problems revolve around immigrants and asylum seekers. So the Home Office spent a record £5.38 billion over the last year on asylum, more than a third higher than the previous year. And figures released on Thursday showing spending on the asylum rose by £1.43 billion in 2023-2024 financial year to £5.38 billion, 36% higher than in 2022 2024 when £3.95 billion was spent. The latest figure covering the Conservatives' final year in government is the highest amount since compatible data began in 2010 and 2011. It is more than four times the equivalent of the figure for 2020-2021, £1.34 billion and nearly 12 times the total a decade ago in 2013-2014 when it was 450 million. New data has also found the number of asylum claimants living in hotels has increased since Labour came to power in July. The Home Office costs, uh, costs cover all its spending on asylum, including direct cash support and accommodation for asylum seekers, plus a wider staff in other relating migration and border activity. It does not include the cost of operating responding to channel crossings and intercepting migrants as they make the journey to the UK. That's a very important point there to highlight. However, the data shows that most migrants entering the UK on small boats do then end up in the asylum system. Since Labour came into power, 19,988 people have crossed the channel on small boats to get into the UK illegally. The latest asylum spending data is when the Conservatives were in power and comes as further data reveals net migration to the UK fell by 20% in the year to June 2024 from a record 906,000 the year before. That's very important. The Office of National Statistics found net migration, the difference between people immigrating and emigrating, stands at an estimate 728,000. Sakir Starmer said his party had inherited an utter mess from the Tories as he accused them of reforming politics to liberalise immigration and having lost control of the borders. He said the government was taking a difficult approach by cracking down on the number on any abuses of visa routes, setting out a plan to reduce immigration and smash the gangs in tackling people across the channel. The Prime Minister said the cost of processing asylum claims need to be brought down, as does the use of hotels. He said the, ho the government has redeployed 1,000 Home Office staff to process asylum claims, and he said his government has returned 9,600 asylum seekers in July. See, I said 8,000. It's even higher than that. So they're gonna, they're gonna. So by the end of the year, they may have done over ten thousand asylum seekers have been returned since July. So are those who have a problem with immigrants, uh, have a problem with us, with migrants, have a problem with people across the back, across the channel? Are you actually going to go down in the comments? Are you reform voters actually going to comment down in the comments below and actually say, you know what, well done Labour for deporting over ten thousand asylum seekers? Are you actually going to say that? Are you going to say well done Labour? Are you actually going to do that? Of course you're not. Of course you're not. That's this is this is this is right here is proof that they are doing something. Yeah. Where is your evidence that the Conservatives did anything? Because they haven't. This right here is proof. Now, do I agree with everything that Labour are doing? No. Do I think they're getting everything right? No. But right here, this number right here is proof that they are doing something about it, whether you like them or not. So why don't you give Labour the credit that they're due on this? Because this is something that Conservatives were not doing. New Home Office data also reveals 106,181 asylum claimants were in accommodation at the end of September. That is an increase of 9,539 from May this year. Of those 106,181 asylum seekers, 35,000 were being housed temporarily in hotels due to a lack of other accommodations at the end of September, up from 6,066 from 29,585 at the end of June. It is the first quarter, quarterly rise of a year, although the figure is still some way below the recent peak of 56,042 at the end of September 2023. Labour have promised to close asylum hotels in their manifesto, but uh, Border Security Minister Dame Angela Eagles last week said more asylum hotels have opened since the party came to power. She told Parliament there are currently 220 hotels in use for asylum seekers, with seven having shut since July, but 14 more have opened. Dame Angelo said the reason was the situation left by the Conservatives with 116 asylum seekers stuck in a backlog of more than two years when Labour came into power in July. Yeah, we have to remember that they were all over the place. They were all over the place. That was the problem. She said the system grounded to a standstill because the Tories were busy pursuing the Rwanda policy, which was doomed to failure. The minister said Labour did not comment, uh, to, uh, commit to close all asylum seekers within four months. Yeah. It is in their manifesto to close the, the, the hotels, but they, didn't, they did not say when. 
So, but if by the end of this parliament, by the end of their power, they don't close all the hotels, then you can say, ha, they broke their manifesto commitments. You can say that. But you can't say that until the, end of the, until the next general election. Because if we get round to the next general election in four years' time and they haven't done it, then you can rightly point it out. You can point it out rightly then. But it's only been... Uh, but, yeah, they didn't promise to close all asylum, asylum hotels within four months. I think that's very, very clear there. So, yeah, let's be honest. Let's be honest about this. Now, are Labour doing enough? No. Can they do more? Yes. But they're doing a hell of a lot better than what they, the Conservatives were doing. Let's put it that way. Um, so... I will give credit where credit is due. Clearing, they are going to, I'm pretty confident that by the end of this year, more than 10,000 will have been sent back. However, obviously, we are still getting an increase in numbers coming in as well. So, Labour need to tackle this. And at the moment, they don't seem to have a way of reducing or stopping the, the, the rise in their numbers. So, they obviously uh, need to get on top of that. So, obviously, at the end of this year and the whole next year, we will judge if the numbers continue to increase obviously rightfully so more criticism will come of labor because they're not getting a grip on the numbers coming in while obviously we give them praise for clearing a lot you know clear it'll be plus ten thousand by the end of this year i'm pretty confident of that <laughs> but if the numbers keep increasing it will be problematic for some for some people out there but i wanted to put that to those figures and numbers too because i think they are important so, what do you guys honestly think? Do you agree with me that Labour deserves some credit for clearing nearly 10,000 asylum seekers out? Do you think Labour are getting on top of it? Do you think Labour are doing better than the Conservatives on this issue? Generally, let me know your thoughts and more on all of this down in the comments section below. If you found this video informative, please hit the like button. We greatly appreciate it. Share it across social media so others are notified of this video. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing because it really does help support the channel. If you want to go one step further and find and support me and the work that I do here, you can do so by becoming a YouTube member for as little as 99p or join me on Rumble or Patreon for exclusive content on those platforms. So thank you all so much for watching and I hope to catch you all very, very soon.